I don't think what I do is particularly innovative. It's quite traditional in a sense, and it's not rocket science either. Um, but I, I, t I, I need to f not know what is what in my own mind to keep some sort of mystery. Uh, because if I was to decipher or analyze everything, then, then I wouldn't be able to do anything, you know? The first album, New Brigade, we were around 17 and 18 when we recorded it in three days. Uh, and usually half days because people were hung over and didn't show up and, you know. Um, and and I, f I think we had no idea how a studio worked at all. Um, and I think we, we had no desire to sort of make a popular record or, or make it into the music world or break through. Um, but we, a lot of it came out of spite. Like, we, we didn't really relate to anything. We thought everything in the punk scene was garbage. We thought everything in the indie scene was garbage. We thought everything in the mainstream scene was garbage. And no, nobody spoke in a way that, that really felt like it rang with us. And we were quite antisocial and, um, and a bunch of brats, you know. Um, so I, f I think it, it was just a, a frenetic sort of reaction. Um, and wanting to, to do something that, that would sort of spit in the face of whatever was in the landscape at the time. <laughs> After doing the music thing for a little while, or practically stumbling into the music thing, the discovery came that we actually really like writing songs, and that it's become a sort of necessity. I don't know how not to do it. Like uh, my brain seems to be wired in a way that that wants to take in whatever I go through and sort of break it down into songs, and that's kind of how I make sense of things. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 was a, it was a lucky accident that, uh, that this making albums panned out to be something that, that provided um, life with some sort of meaning or pursuit. Because before we had no aspirations whatsoever. I, I had n zero idea of what I wanted and uh, I, I fell into it. Often it, it's just, you sit down with a, a blank piece of paper and you don't feel like you have anything to say necessarily. Um, but suddenly things appear and if you have two lines then this is just the third one and, and, and then you're in the process of, of describing how you feel but you write to find out how you feel, not vice versa, at least in my case. Like, yeah, well, so, sometimes you, something occurred that is direct ev event that really just do something. But in general things, in, in, in general, um, 
I often need to write to know how I feel about it. Shining bright, justify me, make me right. I can't fight it, make it wrong. But a fugitive has a tendency to return home. Is it against the moon? Against the moon, that was uh, from. The album Plowing into the Field of Love, and we were at this old wooden house that some hippies created a studio in back in the 70s, I guess. And it's, it's, it's an incredible studio. Um, it's just endless woods around, and one, one little town with too many churches to the people ratio, it seems. And People bent over cars, um, looking like looking at you like they want to eat you when you pass by. Uh, so, so the atmosphere was um, was perfect, and um, that song "Against the Moon" came about that sometimes when we all went to sleep, I was suffering from a bit of insomnia, and they had like an old. Um, pump organ uh, from the late 1800s, I think, that sounded incredible. And then these chords came about, and um, I was centering the lyrics around something, and uh, I found a book of Peter Bruegel, the Dutch painter, and there was one of um, those big paintings of all of proverbs uh, and one was pissing against the moon which I lifted from there and I just thought it was such a great image and like in, in his depiction of it you, you, his painting of the pro proverb you see a, a guy pissing into the, a lake with his back turned and he's pissing towards the reflection of the moon in the water um, but it's an idle pursuit, like you're never going to reach the moon with your stream of piss. So it, it's a form of, for me, it, it, it's an image of, of somebody striving for something uh, that's impossible, but in a procrastinated sort of way. Um, so yeah, sometimes these things just kind of come up by chance. The, the, the Peter Bruegel book happened to be at the same house as the organ, and then a song came out of that um, because I couldn't sleep. It'd be a lot easier if I, if I had a formula for it. It's a matter of like ideas, I guess. I, I tend to sit around with melodies or images or, or whatever it is for a long time before I really fully act on them. And the bad ones perhaps gets naturally filtered away, but some things I just don't forget. And uh, if I don't forget them, then they must have some kind of significance, at least to myself. You have to make yourself present for the sure. idea to occur. Um, and and some, sometimes I, I, I change, chase the ideas desperately, um, especially after finishing a lot of a big project where you, where you feel like you sort of um, wrenched your, your soul like a, a wet cloth or something, um, you feel empty. And, and where usually you can tie the reins of, of to the ideas that you're working with. But when something is finished, suddenly you, you, all that stuff that goes up in the mind has nothing to really latch on to. Uh, and then that, that could create a, a somewhat desperate feeling of what if that was it? 
And that's sometimes when I've had tendency to to go and get lost and and put myself in in uh, dubious situations just to seek out something, something that will kickstart something. And, and it does sometimes and often it doesn't. Like, um, yeah, but I still haven't find out, found out about these things. Um, it, it's a lot of just trial and error. How Shelter Song came about was, uh, I think, from having been out in the wild a lot and actually needing to find solace in the things that you, you, you have around, whether that be other people or, or in a more literal sense, shelter. Um, but also kind of in saturated in this this world that's that's all messed up and um, trying to find some sort of togetherness in what's there. Summer. 